Bye. guys, I'm back on the road. This time I'm headed to northern Minnesota, north of Two Harbors, to the Superior Hiking Trail. I'm going to be uh, starting my hike this time uh, at the Split Rock River Loop. Uh, I'm going to be hiking north from there. Tonight I'll be solo. Tomorrow the plan is to, sometime during the day, meet up with Stair Guy and Mad Hob from Hammock Forums. So stick around, it's going to be a great weekend, and uh, we'll see you guys on the trail. Already beautiful though, hiking along Lake Superior. So I'll check back with you guys when I get to the Superior Hiking Trail. All right, well I made it to the Spur Trail. I'm just crossing underneath the freeway now. It's pretty cool. And then we got some stairs, and then we'll hit the trail. And it looks like I got at least 2.1 miles to the uh, first campsite, which maybe I'll stop at, we'll see. And uh, glad to be on the trail now. I think uh, when it's wetter, this waterfall probably is pretty spectacular. It looks pretty dried up now. So nice down here. Quiet. The bugs are pretty good. No bugs really at all, actually. Nice trail register. I'll probably sign that. Another staircase going back up out of here. Anyways, I reached the river. And uh, man, it's gorgeous back here. It's been 10, no. Eight or nine months since I've been out here. It was winter the last time I was out here and I brought the family out to do some snowshoeing. I'd never been on this section. I didn't realize how ridiculous that idea was. My five-year-old put in a few miles on his snowshoes. Uh, my wife and I obviously did the whole thing, but I had my polk sled with me, carried my two little ones and that. And then when my oldest tired out, I had all three kids in my polk sled that was a workout. But they eventually all fell asleep in the sled. So I guess they were cozy. But uh, it's nice to be back here without snow. And uh, in the register back there, there was somebody else uh, just above me saying that they were out here with their two kids, taking them backpacking for the first time. And I tell you, I just so cannot wait be able to take my my kids backpacking a couple more years and my oldest will probably be able to do it he's actually already gone he has his own backpack but we're talking two miles or so none of this 15 mile day or anything like that so i can't wait to get him up here and really backpack with him all of them actually and uh well winded but those are just my thoughts for now it's a nice evening it's dropped, it's about 60 degrees. I'm still sweating. <sighs> I'm loving it. <laughs> That's why we keep coming back out.
it's stinking gorgeous down here. It was beautiful in the winter, but it doesn't compare to now. It's just with the water flowing and the green trees, man, it is gorgeous down here. There's one of those little rock formations, rock kern, is that what they're called? I don't know. Down there, it's pretty neat. I'm not gonna walk down there though. There, come on, look at my view. This whole area is just stinking, stinking gorgeous. Yeah, it's just beautiful. So I'm gonna go hit the camp, hit the campsite, check back with you guys later. Met a guy named Colin, talked to him about hammocks a little bit. He's considering it. So Colin, if you see this video ever, man, it was nice to meet you. And uh, you should look into hammocks. Um, so he was just chilling and eating dinner and kind of digging being by himself. So I'm off to the next campsite. Sun's really starting to go down now. And uh, I think I got about a half mile to the next campsite then. And uh, it was nice to sit for a minute though, but uh, hopefully the next campsite's not full. Because you know, I mean, I guess people do like to get out here, be by themselves. If it is though, man, I gotta stop, it is getting dark. Um, but yeah, so Colin, man, it's nice meeting you, if you ever see this. And uh, off to the next campsite. All right, well, got one more campsite to go before I hit them all. That last one was the multi-group and it's full. It had a, an orientation group, I guess, from Northwestern University. Um, and they're packed, there was like 12, 13 people or something there. So off to the next site. They don't have a choice, I'm camping with them. <laughs> and then end of night one. And I ended up hiking all the way to the last site and met some really nice people from Minnesota Rovers and didn't do a lot of filming but had some good barbecue spaghetti and went to bed early and that's about it. See you guys in the morning. <laughs>